This is our planet. It's beautiful and magnificent. We have a lot of plants, trees, and beautiful sights. But also, this is the site that we have to face also. Unbelievable journey, all in the name of a cleaner planet. Sam Benchigip, he plans to run 3,000 miles from New York to LA. Keep in mind, that's 20 miles a day. In today's show, I have Sam Benchigib. Sam Benchigib and his siblings have created a movement called Make a Change World. They built a plastic raft made out of plastic bottles to showcase how dirty was the waters of Indonesia rivers. To bring more attention to this issue, he ran across America from New York City to California. What's up guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Today's guest for our show is Sam Benchigib. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Uh, I love your story. I hope to share this uh, story with my viewers. Uh, you inspired me a lot to make this content because uh, I know that you ran from New York City to California, right? Yep. Uh, 190 days is that? 191 days. And to bring an attention to plastic waste, right? Yep. Uh, and Sam just created a company called Make a Change to bring an attention to plastic waste around the world. Uh, and now he's living in New York City uh, to uh, grow the company and bring in attention to this uh, movement and that really has inspired me to come and uh, Get more interview or like get his perspective in life like what has made him uh, uh, Take this leap of faith in doing that uh, I'm Excited to be here and excited to, to share my story. Perfect. Yeah, uh, so let's get into this video guys <laughs> So the, the part of your story that I'm really interested in is like how were you inspired like uh, what made you start this movement of like uh, bringing attention to plastic waste. Yeah, I mean, I think so. Growing up in Indonesia um, and growing up in Bali specifically, mm -hmm. it's this beautiful paradise. Um, and it's, you know, the, the nature is pristine, the ocean is crystal blue. I but, see. you know, you see plastic pollution just accumulate on the beaches. Okay. Um, and so when I was 12, I, you know, realized that there's so much plastic. Mm -hmm. um, and it just felt devastating to know that, you know, it's such a beautiful habitat, but it's just destroyed. Okay. Uh, so when I was 12, I decided to start cleaning beaches. When you were 12? When you were 12 years old. That's uh, insane. With my brother Gary, which is, you know, 10 years ago. Um, okay. And we, we started doing weekly beach cleanups. Every single weekend, we cleaned the beach. But we quickly realized that although you could clean the beach, and that's great, uh, yeah. the very next day, the trash comes right back. Because oh, so really? much of it comes from rivers, um, people don't know how to dispose of it properly, especially in countries like Indonesia where there's a lack of waste management. I see. Um, and so we started an organization called Make a Change World, where we're trying to bring attention to plastic pollution um, okay. by doing crazy things like running across the US. Um, wow. Because we think that no idea is crazy enough when it comes to uh, protecting our planet. Uh, that's pretty great. So my question is like, if you see the plastic pollution in Indonesia coming in the rivers, how do you see it in New York City? Is that a huge problem as in Indonesia or around the world? Or is it less of a problem here in uh, New York City or United States? I think it's less of a problem here in the sense that, you know, it's not necessarily accumulating on the beaches in yeah. New York. Um, because there's actually, like, there's actual waste management here. There's the Department of Sanitation, which are doing a great job. Okay. In Indonesia, um, you know, trash doesn't really get picked up. I see. Um, it kind of just like, sits there and then people throw it in rivers and there's also um, maybe a lack of education in Indonesia but in New York it's still very much like plastic is still an issue you know okay. people are still using plastic they're still used like the average American uses 4.5 pounds of trash a day okay uh, and so I think in New York what we're trying to do differently is more educating people on how they can live more sustainably and what they can do to to limit the amount of waste that they use I see so you chose New York City as your hub uh, to promote this uh, uh, clean up uh, the waste and plastic uh, around the world. Uh, why New York City? Right, I mean, that's a great question. I think that, you know, New York is just uh, such an iconic city where it's so easy to meet people. Yeah. Um, and there's so many amazing environmental organizations here in New York, uh, like the, the United Nations is here, uh, Pilot for the Oceans, their office is actually right there. Okay. Uh, and we've partnered with them. And there's just so many like minded people here that you can really create meaningful projects and relationships with I see. Um, and also you know like make a change world also has a media side to it and I think that's uh -huh. video is very much in our DNA and so um, yes definitely so uh, you know yeah creating videos here is an amazing place to do that and so many people you know like you you make videos yeah Abe um, and so yeah New York is a great place for that and 
perfect. So uh, I just want the viewers to know where should they find you, your movement, and how can they uh, bring a change and help you and your movement or just like in general plastic waste and becoming eco-friendly. Like. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Makeachange.world is, uh, <laughs> is my channel, Makeachange.world, uh, on our website, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Um, and you know, I think that we try to, to educate people and raise awareness about the issue of plastic pollution. So if you follow us, um, hopefully you get inspired to live more sustainably, use less plastic. Um, and otherwise, there's so many resources available out there, you know. Uh, we use so much plastic in our day to day, and I do think that every step makes a significant difference. So if you can limit your plastic consumption, you know, don't use a plastic bottle, use a reusable bottle. Um, there's so many simple switches that you can do to live more sustainably. Um, so make a change that world. So back home, like I'm not from the United States, I'm from Uzbekistan. Like every Saturday is like a student, like at fourth, we were fourth graders. And uh, we used to have this thing called Subotnik. That's in Russia. It's called Saturday's work. So cool. everyone from school used to go to school and get out like in the town and clean up all the trash that that's was amazing. on the streets. That's, super cool. uh, that's what I grew up with. But uh, coming to the United States, I was pretty surprised because uh, back home in the country, we used to clean up the schools, right? We were like the people who were cleaning up and we were also learning. And coming here, like we live in a privilege where like there are employees to like take care of all the trash for students. Right. And some of the students just don't really care. It's like throw the trash around the building or outside in the streets. So when I saw that coming to this country, I was like, oh my God, like they're, they're like people are wasting uh, a lot of plastic and uh, other garbages. Yeah, absolutely. There's so much trash in New York, you know, there's, I've actually been hosting cleanups every Saturday. Um, I see. Or every every couple Saturdays. I host oh, so you're, you're doing the Saturday thing? Yeah, I'm, I'm hosting cleanups. I mean, it's not necessarily just because it's Saturday, but on yeah, the yeah, weekends, yeah. Uh, just trying to get the community involved, get my friends involved. Okay. Because um, there is so much trash in New York. And although we have a great sanitation department, um, with COVID, there is a $106 million budget cut okay. from the Department of Sanitation, where you know that money was spent towards street sweeping, garbage collection, and right now, because of that budget cut, there's less garbage collection, so there's way more trash right now okay. um, than there normally is in New York. So I think, yeah, let's do that. So uh, I think we would encourage, like both of us would encourage all the uh, viewers that are watching, if you see a uh, trash outside in the streets, uh, in your town, uh, in your city, by your building or by your house, uh, just please like try to take care of the trash, just uh, recycle all of it uh, if possible. Uh, yeah, so let's clean up. Absolutely, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, you know, something that we find a lot of on yeah. these cleanups is cigarette butts. Uh -huh. um, a lot of people who smoke don't realize that this filter um, yeah. is not compostable. So this, you know, it takes like 100 years to decompose. So really? You, you have to make sure that if you do smoke cigarettes, make sure you put it in a bin after you smoke it and not just toss it on the street. I see. And this is one of the things we, like the most common items that we find. Another super common item, <coughs> see like so many cigarette butts. Another common item is like, like although you know a lot of coffees, yes. coffee stores will have paper cups. This is compostable, but this okay. is not the top. I see. Um, and so like, make sure that you throw, you dispose of this properly. Okay. And I would say that the best solution is instead of you know buying this yeah. or when you go to a coffee store, uh -huh. bring your own coffee mug. Bring your own um, coffee mug. Okay. Because then obviously you know you're avo avoiding a lot of waste. I see. Got it. No problem. What's the cigarette butts? You know, like there's so many. Uh, what about cardboards? Um, it depends. So most cardboard in New York City yeah. is recyclable. Um, Even recyclable. So you can put it in uh, in the recycling bin, uh, in the blue bin, um, okay. to make sure that it gets disposed of properly. You know, the city of New York actually has um, a recycling plant just outside of New York that actually takes all paper, um, cardboard, uh, and actually makes new paper out of it. Okay. Um, I think it's in Staten Island. So yeah, definitely that could be that could be recycled. Um, gotcha, no problem. So we're gonna be picking up the up the trash just for this whole block, uh, and then uh, we're gonna move on to a podcast like we said earlier. So it's as easy as that, you know, we, we spent two minutes just picking up trash, five minutes, and already, you know, we can collect so much. Um, make sure you do your part, and if you can, 
clean up your neighborhood. Uh, or if you can't, I host weekly cleanups here in New York City that you can attend. And there's, there's a ton of other organizations here in New York that organize cleanups. Um, so if you're free on a weekend and you're trying to give back um, and clean up the environment, I think that's a great thing that you can, you can do. Uh, th thank you for like uh, bringing attention to these kind of movements. Uh, I hope people can see the budget cut in their city, not to see the city like fall apart, but also like build up the city with their own hands. Like some people just like complain like uh, the city is just turning a worse place ever, but it's in our hands to fix the city up as Absolutely. human beings, right? So uh, I really thank you for bringing attention for that. And you know, I think that you know that's important to note too that the budget cut, you know, it happened because the city has to spend money on other things. It's not the city obviously doesn't want to not clean up the, the streets but it's really not their fault um, really so, yeah but you're, uh, we're know, seeing know, a huge you know. sense of community come together and we're yes. seeing so many amazing organizations and and groups come together to clean up the streets of new york that's and I think amazing that shows uh the strength of new yorkers and you that's know right. that people do want to clean new york they want to live in a clean city um yeah. and so that's also very inspiring you know would you also encourage people who aren't living in new york city to like create a group of their own with their friends with their community to go up and clean out the streets yeah absolutely I mean like trash is a problem everywhere around the world so um, if you see it in your in your city in your neighborhood in your town then by all means go out and it's such an easy thing to do like it takes you know five minutes like we just collected like a few few items but um, okay. it really does take a short amount of time and it makes a big day of that perfect uh, well thank you for uh, being in my show Sam I'm really honored I'm really honored that you spend the time to uh, talk about this and bring in attention uh, for my channel, for the viewers. I hope this uh, goes across uh, everywhere uh, and uh, we just keep the earth more cleaner. Absolutely, man. Thank yeah, you for having More me. sustainable. Uh, take care, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Please check out Sam's channel. I'm going to link everything below on the description. And I will see you guys in the next video. What is up, guys? How's everybody doing? Welcome back.